Taurus, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be a reading for single, all right? Single, independent, Taurians. What's going on with you guys? <clears throat> what's going on with the singles? Let's get three more shelves. We're going to tune into the overall energy, the energy encompassing Taurians, single and independent Taurians in their love life, their romantic love life. Let's get one more shuffle. Let's see what's going on here with Taurians. The Knight of Cups. Whoa. The Two of Cups, ladies and gents. Look, you can't make this shit up. Bam. This is a love reading. And I feel that more so, it's a reconciliation reading. All right. Look at this. You see those two cups here? There's been some sort of loss, right? This is also the card of the Phoenix as as it you know rises from its ashes. We got dead people here rising from the dead. This is, this is resurrection. After a period, some sort of loss. Two of Cups two of cups and that's exactly what somebody's going for ladies and gents they still want that even in a play even after a fallout even after some sort of difficulty even when something came to the point or to the experience of a loss somebody wants to move forward somebody here wants to connect somebody wants to well move towards a relationship <clears throat> let's look into this knight of cups what's going on with this knight of cups why the seven of swords okay all right look <clears throat> Taurus this could be you this could be the person that you're dealing with but whomever it is that's coming forward here whomever it is that's coming forward and actuating the or reigniting the passion within the relationship once again whomever is the, the pursuer is hiding their feelings I feel that this individual is just so much more invested in this relationship than what they've displayed. This individual has obsessive tendencies towards commitment with you. I bet you like that, don't you? Oh my God, they're obsessed. They want to be with me. <clears throat> they've been hiding their feelings here. All right, you probably, probably don't know this. Tell me more. All right. Yeah, they're going to be coming forward with lighthearted communication here i feel that the communication that's coming your way is gonna be encompassed by the idea of something lighthearted and something encompassing relinquishing or surmounting past difficulties moving on from burdens moving on from obstacles of the past all right in order to get to a point of reconciling in order to get to a point of pushing forward towards progress in a relationship and this leads us to the two of cups What's going on with the Two of Cups here for Taurus? What's going on with the Two of Cups here for Taurus? The Sun, wow. All right, so there's gonna be a lot of happiness that's gonna be experienced here when this opportunity comes about. All right, whenever someone here comes forward with the potential or the opportunity to heal a matter, there's gonna be a significant amount of happiness experienced here. I feel like this relationship is gonna move on from, from a place of isolation and inactivity to a high level of activity and engagement with one another. So if you guys have been experiencing a bit of a dull moment in a relationship and quite burdensome, understand that there's the manifestations already in progress, the manifestation towards forgiveness, towards acceptance, towards reconciling, towards balancing the situation out and communicating with each other is coming. All right, full circle, ladies and gents. That is what I'm seeing here. I feel that some of you guys are already experiencing this. Some of you are already experiencing this energy of reconciling and working with your person. All right. <clears throat> now, this really this could have not gone as far. This could have, you know, just not made it as far as commitment. I feel that there's still so much more room to explore and grow between you guys. What happened here in the past? All right. Why is this five of cups or this element of dismay and discord, a lack of clarity in the situation you guys definitely separated for some time and the separation or detachment or quietness just actually absolutely bore in your minds okay and i feel that it was quite significant significantly negative and the reason being is because you guys wanted something significantly positive with each other so yeah, I feel that this loss, whatever ensued, was definitely, definitely heavy. All right, it was definitely heavy, yet someone remained nostalgic, someone remained attached, or you can say obsessed. Mind just the second time I see the devil. Obsessed with moving this relationship towards 
a new beginning. Furthermore, I, I did mention a serious relationship, wanting to get married, you know, with the hierophants, all right? But this can also speak of a spiritual union, a union that is just profound, something formalized, something organized, something substantial. All right, let's see. What is Taurus's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? What is Taurus's energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? What is Taurus's energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? The sun. All right. Wow, look at that. The devil appeared once again. Are you obsessed with this individual, Taurus? Are you obsessed? Now, obsessed doesn't have to be like, oh, I want to be together with this person. It could be obsessed over the situation of like, oh, fuck, I can't believe this. This is the, you know, it's this bad or it's just constantly in your energy. That's the element of obsessiveness. It's constantly in inducing feelings within you. All right. That's the sort of obsession that I'm talking about. Nevertheless, I feel that there's good intentions here. I feel that I feel that you've thought about this long enough. And you do see the potential for light at the end of the tunnel in this relationship. You're quite hopeful here with the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Wands, Three of Coins. You're absolutely, you're absolutely inclined to moving towards this. Like you are aligned with prosperity, not only mentally, but emotionally and spiritually, energetically. You are aligned with turning the situation around for the better. That is what I'm seeing here. All right. <clears throat> However, tell me more about Taurus's energy towards this person, whomever it is that they have on their mind. What is their actual energy, physical energy? What is, what is the world? All right, well, yeah, I feel like, again, I just want to reiterate what I picked up here in the Wheel of Fortune. You're absolutely aligned with bringing about a new beginning, a new beginning that is positive, a new beginning that entails working together, seeing eye to eye, collaborating, to build, to come out of the dark, to come out of the cold, and have a brand new beginning, flat out. I understand that this is something challenging, something difficult, but yet you're finding the courage, you're finding the strength to persevere because you're pursuing something that you really, 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 really want. All right. <clears throat> Let's look into the person that you're dealing with towards. I got the AC on it. It's still hot. All right. Let's see what's going on. Hmm. What's going on with the individual that Taurus is dealing with? What What is this individual energy towards Taurus? One second, Taurus. This fucking control. Whatever, I'm gonna deal with it later. The battery's dying and it's just like, I gotta take out this stupid battery, put it back in and then quickly change the setting. And we ain't got time for that right now. What's going on with this individual? Whoever it is that Taurus is dealing with. What's going on with this individual? Whoever it is that Taurus is dealing with. The chariot, card of cancer here. Nevertheless, what I'm seeing is that this individual is on a mission. On a mission to what? On a mission to what? Don't tell me, to woo Capricorn. Mm-hmm, coming forward with that message here. All right, wanting to engage, wanting to communicate. Well, coming forward as a messenger. What did I say? This individual wants to woo you. Holy shit, and it's 1212 at the clock, ladies and gents. Can you see that? Come on, don't fuck with me, man. Ah, oh, this piece of shit. You can't see it. Fuck. Anyways, it's... Oh, there you are. You you, you got a glimpse of it, don't you? 12-12. Anyways. It's a positive omen, alright? So, embrace it. Embrace it. Let's look deeper into this individual. What's going on? It could be a fire sign that you're dealing with, but what is their energy towards Taurus? The judgment, the emperor at the bottom of the deck could be dealing with an Aries. Nevertheless, judgment, again, the card of the phoenix rising from its ashes. Let's resurrect. Let's redo this. Let's have a brand new beginning. All right, move towards, <laughs> should I, should, I'm just sounding redundant at this point. Should we move towards a new beginning? Let's have a new beginning. I'm just going to call this reading a new beginning. All right. I should have, this, this reading should have just been a minute long. I swear. Taurus, I should have just been like, what the fuck happened? I, even when I'm fucking playing games with you guys, I can't make this shit up. Even when I'm playing games with you guys, I can't even play because that's that's a reality. All right, that's a reality. You guys are moving towards a brand new beginning with this, or at least they're seeking to actuate a new beginning with you. They're seeking to have a resurrection. All right. Not only are they seeking, 
I feel that this person is taking action to do so. Can't make this shit up, ladies and gents. I'm telling you, even when I'm trying to act a fool, I can't. There's a message. So, ladies and gents, I'm going to be taking this to the extended, and I'm going to continue to dive into your person. I'm going to look into the near future of the relationship. I'm going to look into their long-term intentions, their actions, as well as deconstructing their feelings. What are their feelings towards you? If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, look at you at the bottom of the deck. Venetian energy. I'll see you in the extended, or I'll see you guys next time.